So, so we're back. I'm stuck. Hold on. Are you stuck okay, on the cord? I was trying to turn in my chair, and the cord got stuck. Oh, I love this part. This is one of my favorite parts of the whole game. Is it? And it's very early and easy and stupid. I just like massive fights, and this game did them very, very well. Oh, God. Don't yeah. go through there, Gage. Yeah, now this you game can. had a really good combat system. Oh, hey, I just burped. Oh, of course you did. <laughs> All right. Burp it on stream. As soon as you get out here, I'll hit you with a question. Hit me with your best shot. No, that no, that's what we did during Bloodborne. You can't oh, steal yeah, my right. thunder. That's right. All right. You should really take out two guys with guns. Well, they're not. Hold on. Yeah, they're not all gonna be in here. So they're all a lot. A lot of them are gonna leave. And I'll take out this guy. No, nope, you won't, because he's going to leave, too. JK. Well, there goes Harley. She's my wife. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. It's not true. <laughs> be awesome. All right, you ready? Check. Sure. Pop out. Hold on. Can I not take him down? Oh, I can't pop out of this. Never mind. I have to go this way. That's right. You have to go all the way around and do all oh, this shit. stuff first. Yeah. All right, first question. Sure. Well, actually, it's like question 16 at this point. But anyway... Which Robin was killed by the Joker? Okay. Dick Grayson, Damian Wayne, or Jason Todd? Jason Todd. Jason Todd. That is correct. See, now I'm focusing on the game. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> it happens, man. This should be gone. But you had to hit two buttons to do that. Oh, they all lit up green. They're still on. Why are you stuck at this game? This is the system of built up steam. Yeah. I did that. Unless I'm just sure? like forgetting everything in this game. Actually, I don't even know how to go this way. I think I need to go this way. No, that's the way I came from. That's right, I need to go through. Oh, God. Can't go through there yet. If I follow the pipe okay, yeah, I'm following it back. Way to shut it down. It's this way. There you go. Oh, so I need to go prompt it first. That's I, that's annoying in video games. Go. Yeah, time activated events and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. There you go. Get these two. Take down. Out. Boom. DDT. Uh. Just kick a guy in the yeah. throat, you know, because. Most people get back up from I'm just there. super mean about it. Okay, boom. 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 Yeah, get some. Take him out. Counter that boom, guy. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Who killed Bruce's parents? Okay. Jack O'Connor, the Joker, or Joe Chill? Is it Joe, is it Joe Chill? Is that your answer? I know it's not the Joker, unless you're asking Tim Burton. You have three seconds. I'll go chill. Chill. You are correct. Yeah. If you ask Tim Burton, it's the fucking Joker. <laughs> that's no. how he wrote it in the movie. No. That's how he wrote it. I know you killed my parents, and now I'm going to kill you. Blah, blah, blah. Or whatever he says. Blah, 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 blah. Rabble, rabble, rabble. In that scene. Damn Jack it. Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Love it. He's okay. He had the comic book feel of the Joker, for sure. Well, I mean, there's so many exaggerated features. Books. and Joke. There's so many Joker comic books, though. For that time period. I mean, the early 90s. True. Late 80s, early 90s. That area. Getting back in the Silver Era comics. Okay, skipping that. Sorry. I could be holding this so that you could have... Joker's hold up in the manager's office in the studio. See, I get his audio. All right. Of course I will. I mean, I can make that come and go. I just let go of the thing. Anyway, what was Dick Grayson's profession before he became Robin? Hi. You should know this. He is a uh, trapeze artist. Or a circus artist. A circus, yeah. What was the answer, yeah. Two questions left on this test. Quiz, whatever. Next question, I think I know the answer just because there's only one obvious answer. Uh-huh. 
The last question is fairly easy. Okay, I didn't know if you asked questions on her yet. <laughs> I'll get another quiz next. Yo, what? I'll get a new quiz after we finish this one. Okay. Uh, but, uh, I won't ask, like, repeat questions or anything. So, let's... Do you want to... Do this, I want This episode will come out after Arkham Knight is out. Correct. Do you want to talk about the Arkham Knight? Yeah, let's ask this one, one, one more, one more question, and then we'll get on the other. Okay, one. cool. All right, which villain developed a powerful formula capable of turning men into hulking beasts? Bane, the Joker, or Hugo Strange? What was it? Which villain developed a powerful formula that was capable of turning men into beasts? They've all done it. All three of them? Yeah. Uh, is it? Does it say anything? What it's talking about? What series? What canon? It shows that picture. That looks like a Darkest Night picture. <laughs> like, um, my guess was Hugo Strange. Well, Hugo Strange. What am I doing? Hugo Strange did it in the Arkham series. Joker. I had a hand in doing it in the Arkham series because he was the one who got Penny Young to do it for him. What am I doing? I don't know. We're too focused on getting uh, the right answer. Yeah, and then Bane, uh, one of the storylines for... No, it's actually, you have to get that with a different weapon. Huh? You have to get that with a different weapon to break it. One of the storylines for Bane in uh, a different Batman animated series is that he, they give like a patch that's Venom. And you put it transforms the, the beasts. Yeah, so basically people put venom patches all over themselves like steroids, and uh, it turns them into bane hulking creatures. So they've all three have kind of done it. Ah, for yeah, the I think this one is actually like saying Batman would turn into a bat, like a giant man bat. Then I'll I'll say Hugo. Like the Darkest Night kind of thing. Yeah, I'll say Hugo. Hugo Strange well, is Darkest, correct. Darkest Night was zombies, but you take the door. but okay, does it give it give it an explanation to anything? No, it just gives, tells you if you're right or wrong. Gotcha. God, stop doing things, phone. Oh, yeah! Uh, Arkham Knight! Checking this uh, Arkham, Arkham Knight. Yeah. yeah! So you want to talk about Arkham Knight now? Yeah, what do you want to talk about? Um, who, so who is it? <laughs> I think it's Hush. You think it's Hush still? I still think it's Hush. Um, I don't think so. I think you're wrong. I know. You think it's Jason Todd. I think it's Jason Todd. And I can still see Jason Todd being the Arkham Knight. Sure. But I really think that it's Hush. Um, I really want it to be Hush. So why is it, why is it Hush? Tell me tell me why it's Hush so the listeners at home can figure out after, of course, they've I already... did a lot of digging. They've already did seen it. Did a lot, it. a lot of digging. Hush is directly related with Scarecrow in some comic books. Some comic books, sure. Um, give me a second. I'm trying to get our audio back. Okay, sure. Yeah. There we go. Uh, and then there is a story arc with Hush where he knows that Batman's grappling hook is a dangerous weapon, not just a tool for ascending tall buildings in a single bound. Okay. Ah, you like that Superman plug in there? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> Ruin your day. Pretty much. Uh, and there's there's very instances where Hush and Scarecrow and all that stuff, all these characters that are in the Arkham Knight and the main focus of the Arkham Knight clash together. Okay. The biggest ceiling factor for me was in Lego Batman 3. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Troy Baker is the voice of Hush in that game. Okay. Which I Troy have. Baker I is play. also voicing the Arkham Knight. Okay. Why would you? Because they also have Kevin Conroy as Batman. Um, what's his face is the Joker. He's not the Joker in that. He wasn't the Joker. Hamill wasn't the Joker. I don't in think so. Like a Batman. It doesn't sound like it's him. Let's find out. 
Lego bad hand. Anyway, why do you think it's Jason Todd? I think it's Jason Todd because and I've got oh, I, th I thought I had, I had something else that I thought made me, made me think it was Jason Todd too um, so it's, it's Jason Todd because for the logical reasons of explaining the character um, this person wants to be like Batman or wants to be better than Batman wants to show Gotham that it's, he's better than Batman um, so that's very Jason Todd right and the, or when he came back from being dead you know he came back through the Lazarus Pit we know that Lazarus Pits exist in this world, um, because we've seen one. Yeah, we, we fight. I mean, you fight race in this game right here. Sure. Yeah, it's in this game. Exactly. So there's that. So that's just, you know, a little bit of making sense. Um, past that, the character builds for the Arkham Knight and Jason Todd are pretty similar. The, right. hel the helmets they wear are basically a one-to-one -one remake of each other. Um what else? The marketing for it yeah. is very particular, as in you're seeing a lot of Red Hood items being pushed. Yeah. Uh, but you're not seeing a lot of Arkham Knight being. In. Oh, so that was one thing that I had. So, um, and now I can't like walk and play at the same time. Um, so Jason Todd's being pushed, and Jason Todd's a character that's only been confirmed to be in the game through. Um, the DLC, the, the DLC for GameStop. For yeah, so you you can only get Jason Todd that way. That's the only reason he's in this game so far. Why would there be so many action figures, so many T-shirts, socks, hats, cups, the whole nine yards for the Red Hood in this game? The same reason why when uh, Black Mask was the villain in Arkham Origins. They, they were pushing all the Joker they, stuff. They pushed all the Joker stuff. So you bought all the Joker stuff. So you think costumes. it's just lazy on their part? I think it's kind of lazy on their part. That's what I think. And Jason Todd. There, I had something else that made me think You're of Jason right. Todd. It was Christopher Corey Smith that voiced uh, Joker in... Lego Batman? Lego Batman. Yeah, it didn't sound like Mark Hamill. But... But... Nolan North was also in Lego Batman. Was he? Who yep. he Lego As Man? Beast Boy, Condiment King, Firestorm, Mad Hatter, Orion, Toy Man, Jor El, and Bizarro. Jesus Christ. Yeah, uh, even Troy Baker did like. Troy Baker was Batman, Bruce Wayne. I mean, the two are one of the same there, but. Sure. Um, the Adam, Terry McGinnis, Batman of Zero and R. Terry McGinnis. Hush, Killer Moth, Red Hood, Trickster, and the Music Meister. <laughs> the Trickster. Trickster. But. When we go over to Batman Arkham Knight. Why is that listed as a movie? Stupid IMDb. I don't know. Don't spoil anything. Because there might be cast stuff in there that can be easily edited by anybody, but don't spoil anything. Also, we're running long. <laughs> so, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I'm editing these. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So it's okay. You've got this problem, not me. Uh, John Noble is coming back to be the Scarecrow. Okay. Which is yeah, awesome. Did, yeah, that's awesome. Did you see the trailer with all them in it? The voice actors? Yeah. Uh, Nolan North is in this as well. The so Penguin. Is, yeah, I think I knew that. So is the guy who played um, Mike Armentrout in Breaking Bad. Oh, but you didn't watch Breaking Bad. Yes, I did. Did you watch the He's, whole thing? Uh, Jonathan Banks. He's yeah. Commissioner Gordon. Oh, that's right. You watched only a little bit of Walking Dead. That's right. Yeah, yeah I watched Gordon. all of Breaking Bad. Dude, I love Breaking Bad. That's right. I forgot. Um, so... Dodge. Where was I at? Way down here. Do, 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 do. You keep beating up baddies. I'll look for the guy's voice. That's what I'm doing. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's bullshit. I double countered. Interesting. This must not be the website that I saw this on. Yeah? Do you see something else? No! Get him! Okay, cool. Apparently... Got him. Huh. There is a fan-made Arkham Knight movie coming. <laughs> a fan-made Arkham Knight movie? Yep, because it's got the same plot line as... Nope. 
I think you're wrong. I don't think that's true. Is that true? I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. It's an eight-minute short film film focused not around the Arkham Knight, but around Black Mask. What if the Arkham Knight's Black Mask and he finally gets the game While he newly deserves? appointed mayor, Quincy Sharp seeks to capture the remaining inmates of Black Gate, John Blake, now donning the mantle of the Dark Knight, must contend with the diabolical Black Mask and his band of hired mercenaries. So that follows the Dark Knight Returns? Or uh, Rises? Supposedly, yeah. Well, right, while, while we're at it, the Joker is kicking ass over here. Yeah. And... Ow! Ow! At least you didn't use the big hammer. This is true. Okay. But, you know. I think this beautiful sight right here is going to do it for uh, this episode. <laughs> I love it. Oh, yeah, do you? Love that outfit. All right. Uh, Till next week, everybody. Till next week.